Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a covered wagon. I'm going to take two fingers on the left and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down. I come back up to the top and I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line over, straight line down, and stop. I come back to the left hand side and I'm going to draw a straight line across, connect, and then I'm going to draw a slightly wavy, wavy line all the way over to the right, connect. I come back on the left and I'm going to mimic this line. I'm going to go straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, connect. I'm going to come over on this section, I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line on the top. Then I'm going to draw another straight line, straight line, straight line on the bottom. I come right about here and I'm going to draw a pretty good sized circle. And on the right, I'm going to draw another pretty good sized circle. I come inside and I mimic these lines now. I draw another inside circle, come over, draw another inside circle, and connect. In the center I draw a baby circle on there and a baby circle on there and now I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line all the way around. I'm going to draw another straight line, straight line, straight line, keep going all the way around. I come back over here on the left and I'm going to draw a little straight diagonal line down and a straight line across. And I'm going to come down on the inside right about here and I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line across, jump over, straight line, jump over, and I'm going to draw a little connector line at the top. Now I want my wheels to show, so right about here I'm going to draw another curve line over, connect, and back here on the back, on the, on the right side, I'm going to draw another little curve line. I come back to the left and I draw a mimic line there, and on the right I do the same thing. Now I'm not going to see all of my spokes, so I just draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I come back on the center on the left hand side and I draw a little straight line, straight line up, and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, straight diagonal down, straight lines up and across. I'm going to come back over on this mimic line and I'm going to draw little curved lines or slightly curved lines all the way around. Keep going. Okay, and now because I don't want my covered wagon to look like it's floating, I'm going to draw little land lines going across so it looks like it is sitting on land. Okay. Let's see what this looks like colored in. This is pretty easy to color in. I'm going to use brown for all of my wooden parts of the wagon. And I'm going to use just a straight line of brown for my spokes, for my wheels. Then I'm going to come in and I'm going to use gray to color the inside of my cabin. And I'm going to use gray for the outside of my wheels, just to add a little bit of color. And my last color I'm going to use, if you have one, is a peach, just to do the inside part of my covered wagon part. And I'm just going to add a little couple of peach lines on that part. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's my covered wagon all colored in. I'm just missing my horses or my oxen to get us on our way going west. Okay, bye bye.